Hello everyone, this is Dan and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to see what's inside a snowmobile engine, which did come out of a snowmobile that we took apart in the previous video. If you did not see that video, you can check it out in my channel. And if you did not subscribe, you can do that as well so you don't miss any interesting videos. So let's get to it. This motor came out of a 2007 ski -Doo Summit 800cc two-stroke. Now it does have 151 horsepower. I am gonna fast forward me taking this apart, but at the end I will lay all the parts out and go over them with you. Well, what can I say? I did take it apart, and it is laying there on the table. But if you're looking for a video on how to take apart one of these motors correctly, this is not the video. Because I use tools here that no mechanic should have in this toolbox. So there's a lot of broken parts here because I could not get some of these parts off. So I just use a big sludge hammer, sawzall blades, a metal bandsaw, just to break apart this uh, crankcase. Well guys, before we get started, I want to let you guys know this video was intended for you guys to see what's inside a snowmobile motor and not on the specifics of exactly how it works and all the correct names. But let's just go over it and show you what was inside. This over here is a um, engine mount. Um, this, this is the motor, uh, the engine mounts to this plate and this plate uh, mounts to the snowmobile frame. This over here was the cover for the crankcase and uh, the, the pull start assembly mounts to this. Now, this is the crankcase assembly. Um, this is the bottom of it. And as you can see, it's actually a little water pump. This is the little water pump cover. And uh, this gets turned by the crankshaft over here, this rod right here. While this is spinning, it actually turns that. On the other side, um, this spins this little unit. And um, I'm not sure what this is, actually. 
Um, it spins, uh, there, there was oil in, here, oil in here, so it could be spinning the lubrication oil for the crank case itself. But either way, um, next this is, well, this is the crankshaft, okay? These are the connecting rods. This is the whole crankshaft. Now, this is the, this is uh, part of the main clutch assembly. Um, here's the main part. This is what, there's springs inside of this thing. And uh, with the centrifugal force, it pulls in and pulls out. Uh, this is the stator uh, or an alternator and it probably also is responsible for uh, the correct timing of the spark plugs uh, to ignite at the right time and these are the bearings right here and they sit into these slots bada bing this covers this is so there's two parts so this would this would go somewhat like this Okay, um, this is the exhaust manifold, um, just covers, they have a little bit of fiberglass in here. Um, I guess it's just for the, to not create too much heat inside the engine bay. And uh, this would, uh, I'm, I guess how you'd call this a um, cylinder head, I'm assuming. Uh, you got the cylinder sleeves and these are the piston heads that piston rods I'm assuming that's what you call them uh, one of them is in good condition the other one you can see it's damaged and also over here you can see this is where it was bouncing whatever fell inside back and forth and chipped this up so that's that these are connected to the connecting rods right here okay just like that and they slide up in and out of the cylinder head and this whole thing is between here so but you kind of saw the the quick version of me taking it apart so now these are I'm not really sure what this is but uh, it's probably uh, something to do with relieving re releasing the pressure since these work on they have little air hoses here um, and maybe it releases the back pressure on the cylinder uh, when it goes up and down so I'm not really sure what that's called but like I said this video is just for you guys to see what's inside um, this is the uh, dual carburetor which I did not touch because uh, we're just seeing the engine but it is a Bombarder Rotex motor and that's a pretty much it guys um, everything you see here that's what's inside we have these these uh, these are for the they slide inside of the cylinder head right before it enters the cylinder. Um, and it's interesting, you know, and this would be attached to the carburetor. But they have these interesting flaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then six here. Uh, six here. And then that's per each side. So i never seen that before. That looks pretty interesting. I think we've gone uh, over everything here. Um, once again, I did destroy this motor. I'm not putting it back together. Um, this is definitely not the correct way of taking it apart. So don't take any advice on how to remove this correctly, especially through the video. Well guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe so you don't miss any other interesting videos.